Alright. Don't think we should be too evil, right? So two and five hopefully went pretty well because the thing you're dividing by is a whole number. So it's not that different from normal. You just have to put the decimal right where it's supposed to be. Five goes into twenty-five. Five times five goes into five once. And then you're done. So that number of two is definitely straight up easy. I didn't check that. Just do 2.55 divided by five? The calculator. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it. Uh, number five, same idea. So again, seven goes under 49, so I'm going to put a zero point. Seven goes under 49. Seven goes in seven, once. So I started you off like crazy easy, just to get you into it. And then number seven. And then it was like, bam. Yeah. <laughs> so here you got 1.02 into 12. How many times do you have to move it over? Once, two times. Yeah, twice. Once, twice. So once, twice. You guys cool with what I did to the 12? Because where's the decimal understood to be on this 12? At the end. So if I move it over once, twice, I basically just add two zeros. Alright, so 102 goes into 120 once. So now 102 subtract. 120 minus 102 is 18. Bring down the zero. 102 goes into 180 once. So 1 times 1, Jeff, there's no room here. Right up here. 180 minus 102. 78. 78. Then you got to bring down a zero, right? Right. So here it is. Let me stop right there. You guys with me? And it says round to the nearest thousandth. Oh, shit. So how many places do I actually have to get? Four. Four. One more than the third, which would be the thousandth. So 102 goes into 700. No, seven eighty. Seven eighty. Oh, thank you. All right. I can't even read my own writing. That's so seven Yeah, because seven now, seven times one hundred and two would be seven fourteen. Good. You get sixty six. Then you got to bring down a zero. One hundred two goes into six sixty. Six times. 6 times 102, 612. 612, I love it. 660 minus 612, 48. good, 48. Bring down a zero. zero. Oh boy. <laughs> 102 goes into 480. Four times. Four times. 408, right? Four times 102 is 408. Uh -huh. 72. Yeah, 72. Bring down a zero. 102 goes into 720. Seven times. Seven times. 714. Seven and you six. really almost don't care. Because now we got to the fourth place here. So if I want to round it to the thousandth place, what number is in the thousandth place? Four. And the next number is a seven, so I'd round this to 11.765. Good God. And again, I don't know if anybody's checking this on the calculator. Come out to 11.647, blah, 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 blah. Man, that was awesome. Now, just looking ahead a little bit, and then I think I'll let us out of here a little early. Um, the next section really focuses on fractions, the decimals. And this is really just the same thing as what we just did. Because how do you make one seventh into a decimal? What would you actually do? Yeah, divide seven into one. Then you have to do what we just did. So it's really the same thing we just did. And what we're working towards is, of course, like I told you earlier, anytime we learn something new, we throw them into equations. And the equations, again, look at number one real quick. Equations, the process for solving equations, do not care what is in them. 
So how do I solve that first one? What do I, how do I get x by itself? Minus 1.6. Minus 1.6. So now your whole problem is, do you know how to subtract those two decimals? And of course you do, it's just like always. So solve an equation with decimals in them is nothing really new. So the next two sections is going to be sort of a review. And then we got chapter six, percentages and proportions. Yay. All right. That's enough.